What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are here bringing you guys some brand new content on the brand new game that has just released, which is Pokemon Unite. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving my first impressions and picking out my main character to use in this game. If you guys want to catch extra content from me and live streams from this game, head down into the link in the description below, Jeans25 on Twitch. We're going to be streaming daily now, so make sure you hit that follow button and turn on notifications. And if you guys are not subscribed to this channel, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button and like up this video if you do enjoy the content at any time. But like I said, I'm going to be giving my first impressions, hopping into a few battles and going about this game and picking my main Pokemon. Considering there are plenty of Pokemon that do a bunch of different things. We're going to go show off some Pokemon right now. We have Pikachu, Venusaur, and as you guys can see in oh, right below their names, it shows their difficulty and what they're good at. So Venusaur is a ranged attacker. Pikachu is a ranged attacker. We got ranged defender over here for Slowbro. Melee speedster, all different stuff. We have melee and all around. So melee means they're up close fighters. Range means they're in the back fighting and all that good stuff. But Pokemon that I really like are range attackers. So I've really been liking Pikachu. I like Cinderella and I like Greninja so I think those are gonna be my mains probably Greninja when I unlock him because I do not have his license yet or his Pokemon card so I do not have that Pokemon unlocked yet but for now we have four Pokemon unlocked which is Venusaur, Pikachu, Slowbro, and Zorora and then we have these other guys unlocked for a little bit just on a timer which is Cinderace, Crustal, Garchomp, and Machamp. Also, in this game, you can also use items, which is dope. So if you hit your X button from the main menu, you can go check out your items box and you have in-game items and like passive items. So like an item like Muscle Band stays on your Pokemon throughout the battle. So I have this on Pikachu right now and it increases his basic attack damage. Then I also have a potion on him, which I can use anytime during the battle to give me HP. So items are really cool and it gets uh, brings a whole other aspect to this game. But let's hop into some battles, start using some Pokemon, trying to show off this game to its fullest potential and give my first impressions on the game. But a great part about this game is matchmaking is so simple. Like it gets you in a game instantly, like instantly. Like I hit ready and it was just like matchmaking successful and pop me into the game. Hopefully I can get Pikachu in here and show him off because I'm thinking I'm going to main him. I already got him. I got him locked in. Beautiful. Lock him in so nobody else can use him. We got him down. We got him good. Let's go into our battle prep and pick our items because you always want to have items in this game. So you can have up to three held items. Oh, I unlocked since I'm level seven. I can have two held items now. So I have two held items. So I have leftovers during battles now. So when the Pokemon is not in combat, it recovers 1% of its max HP every second. So when I'm walking around doing all that good stuff, I recover a good amount of HP. And also I have my basic attack damage boosted throughout the battle. And then my held item or my battle item is going to be my potion. It's a cooldown every 30 seconds. I can send it and use it and rock out from there. But yeah, I'm thinking my main is either going to be Pikachu, Cinderace, or Greninja. I'm really leaning towards Greninja, but I'm having a really good time with Pikachu. I think Pikachu is an amazing character all around. But Greninja is just one of my favorite Pokemon, so I think I'm going to main him when I unlock him. So getting started with first impressions on this game. First impression is, you guys should definitely give this game a try. It's free. You can download it on the eShop, no problem. It doesn't take long. So if you guys are curious about this game, skeptical about getting it, just download it and play. It's free. There's no harm in doing it. But my first impression is, I think this game is going to be huge. It's going to be big. MOBAs are huge all around the world. It's kind of like League of Legends or Smite, but with Pokemon in it. And it's a lot of fun. It is definitely a lot of fun. It is very strategic, so it does work with the hardcore players. And it is very casual at the same time. So if you're a casual player, this game works for you. And if you're a hardcore trying to rank up player, this game also works for you. But we're rocking out here. I'm going to go bot lane. Hopefully not everybody comes. Can somebody go top lane? I'm not switching over. Yep, they'll switch over. Beautiful. Me and Gibble will rock out on this bottom lane. But yeah, this game is going to be huge in my opinion. Considering it comes out for mobile as well. And everybody has mobile phone. So everybody's going to be rocking out and playing this game. Got my Thunder Shock. Get rid of these guys. But I really want to go over how to play this game at, uh, as well. So you got all these different lanes and you have all these different little enemies. So when you start off in the beginning of matches, you want to destroy these little wild enemies. Because they're going to give you XP and they're going to give you Pokeballs as well. So, so begin the game, you just want to level up and worry about getting XP. So you're stronger than your opponents and ready to fight them when uh, it comes down to it. So me and the Gibble are just chilling here, level up, and here we got some enemies over here. So I'm just going to throw some moves over on these guys, shock them up, e-web them up as well, and start teeing off on them. Gibble, I need you to back off a little bit so you don't die. I'm coming in for a Thunder Shock, and I pick up an early KO. That's huge. Gibble, do not go down. I can handle this on my own. I'm thriving now. Get rid of you. Oh, my God. Yo, I'm off to a strong start already. Off to a strong start. So what I really wanted to do for today's video, which I'm not able to do, is play ranked battles. 
So in order to unlock rank, you have to get level 6 on the battle pass, which I am. That's not the problem. I'm actually level 7 because I leveled up during streams. Like I said, if you guys want to check out my streams, get some extra content for jeans, definitely go hit that follow button. Link is down in the description below. Or just type in jeans25 on Twitch. But back to what I was saying. Um, it's not that I'm not a high enough level to get in rank. You need 5 licenses or 5 Pokemon unlocked in order to uh, get into rank. And I only have 4. And I cannot get another one until I have either enough coins or level up enough to get another license. And I cannot get either. Which is rough. Because I have to be I have to either wait till tomorrow to get a daily reward for a new license or put money into the game to get enough coins to actually level up. Let's keep teeing off on these guys. We got these guys chilling over here. Yo, what's my Gibble doing? He's just standing there. You're not doing anything, Gibble? I'll take that KO. Oh, uh, someone stole it from me. You stole it, my guy. Man, Gibble's just AFK right now. That's whack. That is whack. I'm trying trying to play, trying to get some wins for you guys. I get that KO? I did. That is dope. So I did get the KO. I am going to actually unlock Thunderbolt. I usually use Volt Tackle, but Thunderbolt is going to be the move that I'm going to use right now. Oh, Thunderbolt rocks. It's an area move. Let's score these points real quick. Put them on the board and try to get ourselves a win. Is Gibble not AFK anymore? Oh, yeah. There he is. My boy's back. Yo, three KO streak? Your boy's buzzing. Got five more Pokeballs. Gibble's going to hand enough Pokeballs to destroy the base, which is awesome. But yeah, like I was saying, this game is actually very, very strategic. So it's good for casual players and non-casual players. But I want to get really good at this game. That's why I'm going to be streaming it and doing all that good stuff. So I have my Thunderbolt there. Yo, Thunderbolt's a really good move. Got that on you. Yo, I'm level 7. You're only level 4. I can just tee off on you. Give me a second. Let me Thunderbolt you. Get him out of here. See you later, bud. See you later, bud. Get him out of my game. Get him out of my face. But yeah, first impressions, I think you guys should download this game. Very, very fun. Very simple and very, uh, very strategic. Very strategic. I cannot wait to get into the rank battles and actually, like, play really well and actually learn this game to its fullest potential. But one thing that that's Aurora's doing right there is he is battling under tower, which is rough, considering the opponents get a lot of HP back. Let me shock you. Did I get the KO there? I did not. He's charging. You know, he's doing fast speed runs. You know, chill on me, man. Look how fast he's running. <laughs> Can you come over to me, man? Yo, I need you slow, bro. Slow, bro. Get over here. Oh, yo, we get a stun with that? That's so sick. We're going to get rid of this guy right now. Oh, I didn't get the KO. Yo, Slowbro's just holding him up in the air. That's what's up. We're dominating out here. Top lane's where it's at. There's a lot of battles going on. But this Elder Goss is honestly really bad. We're just teeing off on it. It keeps running into battle when it's lower level. So when you're lower level, you're not going to be as strong as everybody. Oh, I jumped over his move to hit that. That's awesome. Drop a nice little Thunderbolt. And look, that Slowbro is fighting under tower. And I really don't... I can't help him out. I can't do anything. He's going to go down. And I, and I hate to break it to him. But I cannot go up there and fight with him because I'm just going to die. So I'd rather stay back and just play my game. He's going to charge up on me. Yo, chill on me, man. Don't make me Thunderbolt you. There's that. Stun you in there. Yeah, yo, what you want, fool? I know you don't want... I know I know you want smoke. Just teen off on you, bud. Yeah, I know. Other guys coming over here. I'm going to send my potion just so I don't go down. Is that Venusaur on the other team? Buttery biscuit, Venusaur. Chill on me, man. Get some HP back. Other guys, where you at? Yeah, I see you, Elder Goss. Come here, Elder Goss. Venusaur, you want something to smoke? I'll stun you. Oh, I missed my stun. So some moves are area moves, and some of them are short hits. So my, my Electro Ball is a short hit. But once I lock on, it will hit him every time like that. There, and it just KOs him. Then other moves like this Thunderbolt, I have to aim it on the enemies, and they, they have to be in that certain position in order for it to hit. So a lot going on. A lot going on. Strox is under a tower. I am just going to throw this at these guys. Stun them in there. I keep doing work on them, and I actually almost have my Unite move. Oh, yo, chill on me, man. Chill on me, man. Drop the Thunderbolt. Did I get anybody in that? There we go. Cinderace came in and backed me up. Good play, Cinderace. He backed me up, and we were able to rock out with some KOs. Let's have my potion just get some HP. And, okay, that's our team. Yo, look at our team hopping around. Yo, we teeing off. What you want, fool? Hey, oh, oh! I got to dip back. Yo, look at my HP. <laughs> oh, my lord. My HP went down so quick. That Venusaur did some, like, crazy stuff. And just came after us. But yeah, you can chill under tower and actually get HP back, which is wonderful. So if you're struggling a little bit, fall back a little bit, get some HP. But I think level 9, we get our Unite move, which I have right now. Is that absolutely not on our team? Yeah, what you want? I'm about to send my Unite move on you. My uh, Unite move? I don't think there's a need to Unite move here. We got this Absol on lockdown. Did I get the KO? I did. Yo, let's get it. A few Pokeballs. I think we're going to see some enemies up here, and I'm going to send a Unite move right now. Let's go. This is Pikachu's Unite move. He just starts sending, like, a ton of Thunder Shocks. And just getting after everybody. We just picked up a solid double kill. And we were able to uh, kill the other guy. Let's drop that. Stun this guy inside our Thunderbolt. And just tee off on him and take him out. So now we have a bunch of Pokeballs. 
we cleared the lane, now we can score points. So that's really the way you want to do it. Is you don't want to go up and uh, try to score when uh, there's enemies there. Because if they'll fight you under tower, you will die like 99% of the time. So you want to clear the lane out and then get after it. And now that we're higher level because we've been dominating all game, we can pretty much just run this battle and kill all opponents no problem whatsoever. And every every couple levels, your, your moves will level up so they get stronger and stronger. So that's, that's the goal, just level up. And the best way to level up is by killing those small enemies early game and then getting strong enough to be able to dominate all these other guys here. And then your Unite move has to charge. Yo, we are just killing these guys. I can't that thing. Jesus, man. This is just this is just embarrassing. This is just embarrassing. Get him out of here. <laughs> this is just embarrassing. <laughs> this is real bad. Oh my lord. We are crushing these guys. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Oh my lord. Yo, me and the Cinerace are teeing off. Let's score these points real quick. I can potion up, which I am going to do. I wish I had my Unite move. We might go down here soon. But we are just teeing off on these guys. Oh my god, I'm dead. I'm dead. All right, that was a good push. I'll take that. I'll take it, Death, if we're running up like that and dominating the battle. I'll take that all day long. Because now I can actually check my kills and all that stuff. What am I sitting at? I have 16 kills and 12 assists. We are bodying these guys. But obviously, when the game gets uh, later into the match and you die, it will take longer for you to respawn. So that's what's huge about picking up a KO. It's like you can pick up KO and you take out an enemy for a good bit. So that's why you really don't want to push up and be too aggressive in this game. Because if you die, you're really just leaving your team out to dry. You're hanging them out to dry because they're, they're going to be one less player down. And for a good amount of time. And then the other team's just going to push up and get a bunch of points on you. So let's go over here. I see there's an enemy over here. Cinerace is popping off on him. There's another Pikachu. Or there's an Elder Glass right here. I'm going to take you out. I could ult on it, but there's really no need considering I have this thing just chilling here. And, oh, don't you dare grab that. Don't you dare grab that. That's my Citrus Bank. Get out of my game. Oh, they canceled it. It canceled it just as about I was going to pick up my KO. But dominated that battle. 455 to 100 or something. I didn't even get to see their number. But easy match. Awesome. We got to show off first impressions and got to show off this game. And we had a really strong battle. Look at that. 16 kills. Bro, we were crushing it. We were absolutely crushing it. Like I said, I really do like the main attackers. We're going to hop into a second battle. Probably only going to do two battles for today's video. Keep talking. Keep showing off this game a little bit. I do want to use Pikachu again. But for content sake, I am going to run out with Cinderace. Because I just want to show off uh, ranged attackers. So let's run out with our Cinderace. I can actually uh, get him. Hopefully nobody picks him. But that's a problem here. Look how slow it takes for me to get over to all this stuff. There we go. Get Cinderace. We're going to lock him down. Cinderace is so good. So good. Such a great range attacker. I cannot wait to unlock my ninja so I can use him and learn him to his fullest potential. But something I want to do is go into my battle prep and check out... Ooh, I can actually edit items for a second. Let's give that thing the muscle man and leftovers. And then in-game will be that. And I also want to check out this thing's moveset. So we have Pyro Ball. You can actually read the movesets like beforehand. I kind of already know what they do. But you can read them beforehand and uh, figure out more what they do. There's Pyro Ball. It hits and it leaves them burned for a short time, which is great. Blaze Kick is like a dash. And it's always a critical hit. There are critical hits in this game. After this match, I actually want to go show off items a little bit. Because there are awesome items in this game as well. There are really dope items that really is going to make the uh, pro scene or the rank battle really, really good. Because you can have like an or an item synergy, like combine items to make your team a lot better because there's XP share. There's like items that help out teammates, all that different stuff. So this game can get really strategic and really good all around. But since we're low level, everybody's just rocking potions and just playing and learning, which is so fun. But that's why I said this game is great for casual people too. It's great for casual and rank people. It's going to be dope. But I'm hoping on streams, everybody shows out, everybody comes have some fun, hang out with me. But I'm hoping we can actually uh, push high ranks with it. Because there's bronze, there's silver, gold, platy, then there's like higher ones and all that good stuff. But I'm going to unlock uh, Ember as my first turn move. I'm going to just throw an Ember onto you. And I did not get that KO. And me and Crustle are going to bot lane. And I really do like this combo, considering Crustle is a big defensive uh, Pokemon. So, with that compared combined with me... It's going to be really good. I didn't pick up a KO yet. No, you got to let me get the kills. There we go. There's a kill for me. But with these two combined, the uh, Crustle can actually like be a defensive bulk for me while I do big damage and attack. So that's why they pair up really, really well. There's another KO for me. Crustle, let's, uh, Crustle I'll come down there with you and help you KO this thing. We got another one right there. Dash up on that. I love Cinderace or Squirt Bunny because he, he learns a dash early on, which is great. He has 11 Pokeballs. I have three. 
We are chilling. Uh, let's go up here. And there is somebody fighting this little guy. And I'm going to try to take that. And this guy's just standing still. He not playing? Is he not playing? Is he AFK? Yo, we take that all day. I'll throw a burn on him. Oh, yo, we already got Crustle here. Dash up on you. Can okay, we do some work on this guy? We'll throw a burn. Yo, this guy's seen off of me. Let me pop my potion. Just so we can uh, pick up this KO. Oh, burn. I got another burn. And that should be a KO for us. And I got it, which is dope. But I got teed off on a lot. That's a big KO for me. I'm going to go back, dip back, grab ourselves the citrus berries, and then go up and start teeing off on these combis. Combis and best queens. Considering they give you a decent amount of XP and help you level up a lot quicker. But my boy needs some uh, or HP. I wish I could heal him up, but I cannot. If I can throw a little fireball at him. Again, he's Fletchinder's fighting under tower, and I really don't like that one bit. I don't like that one bit. Now they have two over there. And now they're teeing off on us. I do have Ember, which I'm going to send on to you. Throw a burn on to you. And I could low sweep, but I really don't want to. I really don't want to push up under that. So why is this guy pushing up in there? Get under tower. Now I got to step up and try to save him. I got the Charmander. Oh, I should have the Charmander. Take out the Charmander. Oh, no. He grabbed my berry. Buttery biscuit. Come here. You ain't getting away alive. You think you're getting away alive? Get him out of here. Yo, chill on me, man. I'm trying to stay under tower. I'm going to kill you. Throw a burn on you. No! <laughs> he got me. It's all good. We were able to pick up a few KOs. That Lucario is going to get very, very strong. But I wish the Crustle would have uh, would have dipped back earlier and got more HP. Because that would have secured us that win in those battles. And we would have been chilling and still up in that lane. And wouldn't have gave Lucario level. So that's a huge part of this game too. Is knowing when to back off and not fight a battle. I'm going to take you out real quick. And then come up and help out this Crustle. Let's see if I can get a burn on you. Oh, this guy's teeing off on me. Let me potion. He's a high level. That's why. Is he 7? Did I say 7? Let me grab this. Crustle's back and out and about. Did I say 7? If he's 7, he's popping off. I don't want Crustle going into fighting that thing. There's Charmeleon. I'll burn him up. And yeah, he's level 7, which I don't really like. I'm going to dash up on you and try to get rid of you. All that Lucario's over there. And now we're going to go up here on this Lucario. I'm going to throw a burn on him. Oh, let me dash up. Come on, let me dash up. I have a burn on him. And I did I get that KO? No, if that was Machamp getting a KO. I'll take this KO, though. There's that. Oh, and he's back. Yo, dip back. Yo, he's level 8. I really don't feel like messing with him. He's under tower. Crustle, just get back. We ain't doing it. And then there's this Aurora, too. There's no need to push up for that. Crustle, stay back. Let's just destroy these enemies and level up ourselves. Crustle, what did I just say? What did I just say, Crustle? What did I just say? You were going to die. Now we're both under tower. Hopefully we can get this guy out of here. Okay, I got him. That's a huge kill for us. You're welcome. That's a huge kill for us. Powerball coming out here. Can I dash up? I do not have my dash. But I have tons of Pokeballs. And I need to go score these points for the team. I need to score them for this team. Can I sneak in here and do this? Come on, give me my 30 points. Hopefully Lucario doesn't hop up. That's beautiful. Slam that in. There's more Pokeballs right here. How many is that? Five. I'm going to try to sneak these in real quick. Just get as many points as I can. There we go. Beautiful. Lucario is actually in that top lane. Looking at the map is another huge thing that you got to start doing a lot more. That's Aurora up here. I'll Pyro Ball him and get up on him. Yo, what's goody, dog? I must have my Unite move, too. Yo, we have Teen off on him. Where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going? You ain't going anywhere. You ain't going anywhere. Get him out of my game. Yo, we're Teen off really good. We're playing really well today. Gee, I love. Let's try to get rid of this Dreadnought. So when you KO Dreadnought, everybody gets a shield. And uh, we get something else, too. So killing these bigger enemies is really, really good for us. Yo, Crustle can put up like a shield. That's dope. So all of our team gains HP and we get a shield as well. So that is, that is enormous. Now let's go up here and try to tee off on these guys. I do have my ult, which I might send. I might send my ult over here. Yeah, let's send our ult here. It's a giant pyro ball, which is awesome. And we get like a giant speed boost as well. But I'm going to go down. It's all good. The Lucario is stacked right now. Lucario is looking really good. Hopefully that Crustle can KO that thing. Get him, Crustle. No, Crustle needed me. Crustle needed me. I probably should have uh, chilled back, used my abilities first, and then Pyro Ball. But you live and learn. You live and learn. Let's super jump over here. This match seems decently close. So hopefully we can uh, still pick up a win. Let's rock out. There's a bunch of fighting going on up here. I know there's a Gibble. But not a Gibble. Gabite, at least. Yo, Cinderace hits quick, bro. Oh, they're, team they're coming up on us. You gotta, you gotta watch yourselves. What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing here? Yo, I'm gonna need some help here. I'm gonna need some help here. 
I'm gonna need some help here. This guy's Garchomp now, and I'm not liking that one bit. Let me charge up on you. I wish I had my ult. Okay, we get rid of Lucario. That's huge. And what's called came over to help us out. A main man, Snorlax. Is that Talonflame on our team? Yep, Talonflame's over here. The good thing they actually came over here. We unlock Pyro Ball plus two, which is nice. Does more damage, and it has a quicker cooldown, I believe. Let's score some points here. Bang, try to take out this tower. Yep. The champ's going to be able to do that, and that is wonderful. So we destroy the zones, which means we can push up more and get some more points for the squad. Uh, I'm just going to tee off on you. Roar is chilling right there. I'd rather steal this from him, get some more Pokeballs. And can I score these real quick? Yeah, there's three. And our team's chilling here, so we're kind of like crushing the zone. And you do not want to step in front of zones. Considering, see how they have that little Aurora around them? It means they're in a, a low speed zone. So they're going to be super slow. And I wonder if I should go help out this Talonflame, or what should I do here? Drenol did appear. I'm going to go take out Drenol. Yes, Machamp's, yo, Machamp's playing good with me. I like this Machamp. Kind of knows what he's doing. Kind of knows what he's doing, which you got to love. Let's take it out. Dreadnought is huge. Giving our team shield. It's just awesome all around. Fireball that. Do that. We have a huge lead saying. That is awesome. That is good. Hopefully, we can win this one and go back to back for our first uh, Sword and Shield video on worldwide release. So everyone gets an XP from that, which is dope. And we get a lot of Pokeballs. Well, he got the 20 Pokeballs. He should definitely go hand it in. There's Aurora. Just tee off on him. I do have an ult, so hopefully we can get up there. Let's score those Pokeballs. There you go. That a boy. That a boy. That's Aurora over there. Oh, Lucario's back here. Oh my lord, I got a potion. I got a dip. I'm sorry. I'm gonna die if not. Oh my lord, yo, dude. They rolled up on us like crazy. They flanked us so hard. They flanked us so hard. So I need HP. I, mean, I could just KO you guys and just have my leftovers uh, chip up. I'm just gonna KO you guys. Take him out, get some XP, and keep rolling from there. Alright, let's get under this base, get some more HP, and then we'll go roll back up. Actually, just I kind of want to defend this zone. I feel like they're pushing up towards this way. Could be tough. I'm going to go get this Charmeleon. We have a huge lead, and Zapdos spawns. And I, I don't even think I went over uh, what Zapdos does. So when you KO Zapdos... Hold up. Let me take out this Charizard real quick. We don't want him here. So when you KO Zapdos, if your team actually KOs him, it's usually like a big brawl here. Oh, I should actually go protect the lanes. Let's actually KO Zapdos. Zapdos is going to be better to KO here. Let's get him out of here. Do they have a Cinderace over there? Yes, sir, Cinderace. Champs here. I'm just actually just going to take out you. And we're going to take out this Zapdos. So when you take out Zapdos, your team gets boosted for points. So the points will be boosted for the next time. And they get, I think, a shield, speed boost, all that good stuff. So it's a huge advantage if you can take out Zapdos in this last minute. So while they're prioritizing getting points, our ally team gets plus 20 points in the goal zone. So I think every time we hit uh, a goal zone, we get plus 20 points. So now I have 50 points. I believe it's double right now in the final stretch. And then we get that uh, plus 20 as well. I'm just going to ult here, actually, onto you. And do some big damage and take you out. Just to clear that lane and be able to get up here and have that speed boost. Bang! 100 points. That is huge. And I just collected more Pokeballs. So awesome, we were able to show off Zapdos, and we were actually actually able to show off some good matches in today's video, which you gotta love. Uh, I don't really want to fight these guys. I just don't think it's the play. Throw my Pyro Ball there. Sit here and tee off. Uh, yeah, I, I shouldn't have fought these guys. I shouldn't have never fought those guys, but we have a big enough lead, and there's 30 seconds left. I was kind of just looking for a couple extra KOs. Let's see our stats right now. We're doing really well. 8 and 7, considering our talent flame has 0 kills. Stormax is doing phenomenal. And we were doing well. How's their uh, Lucario doing? 6 and 3. I just feel like Lucario is just very strong and he's just a threat every time he's on the field. What's going on over here? Oh, good work, Crustle. Crustle teeing off. I love Crustle too. I think Crustle is such a cool character. But 10 seconds are left. We have 7 seconds left on our respawn time. So that's going to be a dub for us, I believe. We got a ton of points. We did get a ton of points. There's the time up. 580 for us and 259 for them. So we basically beat them by double their points. We did beat them by more than double, which is awesome. But that's dope. We got to show off two characters who I really want to main. Did not get to show off Grand Ninja, but I promise you guys, we're going to get some Grand Ninja content out there soon. Eight kills, seven assists, 156 points for the squad. Carry them with Team MVP. That's what's up. That is what's up. Let's go next. One thing I did want to show off before we do finish off today's video is going to be the items. It's going to be the lovely little items. So if you go into, uh, you can actually prep your items beforehand or in the lobby if you hit X. But if you go into shop, you can actually go to the AOS Aporium. 
hit the enter button, blibbidi bobbidi boobidi bobbidi, and go into items. So the you have all these items, and you can buy them with tickets. So tickets are great for buying items, and all these items do different things in the game. So you have the Rocky Helmet. It deals damage to nearby opponents when you get hit. So it basically does what uh, it does in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Same thing with the Soul Fest. You're going to be able to soak up and nullify some of their special attack damage. You have XP Share, which I think is going to be a great, great item for team play. So XP Share, say I'm holding it. Pokemon around me will get extra XP. I will share my XP around and give them some more XP. So that is all around. And I feel like that is a uh, that should be like a defensive Pokemon item. Something like that. Or Rocky Helmet should be a defensive Pokemon item. Which is really really cool you have the special attack specs which increase your special attacks after scoring a goal which is dope attack weight increase your attack after scoring a goal you got the cookie increase your max hp after scoring a goal float stone i think this one's gonna be big for some uh, pokemon increases movement speed when not in combat so say i'm not fighting and trying to back off float stone will give me a speed boost and i'll dip out you got the buddy barrier grants a shield to a pokemon to the wait grants a shield to the pokemon and to the nearby ally pokemon with the lowest hp when he uses its Unite moves. That's really cool. Say you're in a pinch, use that Unite move, get yourself some Buddy Barrier. Score Shield, grants Shield when you score a goal or attempting to score a goal. Okay, I like that. We got here, Energy Amplifier. Has the Pokemon deal increased damage to the post Pokemon for a short time after it uses its Unite move. That's dope. Focus Span, uh, Resource HP when you drop low. With the Wise Glasses, increase Special Attack, Muscle Band for Attack. Shell Bell, I feel like Shell Bell is going to be really, really good for range attackers. I think I'm going to be using this with my Grand Ninja, Pikachu, and Cinderace because you restore some HP whenever you successfully land an attack. So I'm a range attacker. I'm able to land a bunch of attacks just out deep. So I think that is going to be Shell Bell. Shell Bell is going to be awesome. You have the Scope Lens, which is the last item. Gives you increased critical hit, and then all these other things just help you out to level up and get you more stuff. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. As in the next videos, we're going to be hopping into some ranked battles, showing off this game more, unlocking more characters, and all that good stuff. Also guys, don't forget, make sure you guys check out my streams, Dreams25 on Twitch. Link is in the description below if you guys want to catch me live and see me level up and rank up on the rank ladder. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.